Adam Sandler is one of the most powerful box office stars in the world today. For the past 10 years, he has been creating memorable characters on television and film. Here is a look at some of them. Price is wrong, bitch. I think you've had enough. No? Now you've had enough. All right, last time. Here he goes. Here he goes. God, there's a stick there. Somebody should move it. Some of us will never ever find true love. I take, for instance, me. And I'm pretty sure that guy right there. And that lady with the sidebars. And basically everybody at table nine. Uh -huh. I would be honored if you play football for this team. Me? Play football? Yes. Thanks, but no thank, coach. My mama wouldn't let me play no football. We're gonna go home. You and I, we're gonna talk to mama. Oh, 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 Mom, mama said, mama, mama said, my mama said, mama said that, my mama, mama said that, my mama. <laughs> Paul Thomas Anderson is the Academy Award nominated filmmaker behind the critically acclaimed films Boogie Nights and Magnolia. His latest film is Punch Drunk Love. It has earned him the Best Director Award at this year's Cannes Film Festival and stars Sandler in what critics are calling the best performance of his career. <laughs> Here is the trailer from that film. And all at once I knew, I knew it once. I have so much strength in me, you have no idea. I have a love in my life. It makes me stronger than anything you can imagine. He needs me, he needs me, he needs me, he needs me. I am pleased to welcome Adam Sandler and Paul Thomas Anderson to this table to talk about that movie and many other things. All well, right. Thank all you right. very much. Great, Great to, to be here. Good evening. We'll see you again. <laughs> we were just saying this is the third or fourth? Third, third time. Third time here. Um, where did the idea for this come from? Time from, Magazine? Well, <laughs> there's the Time Magazine helped. Yeah. There was a story about the guy who collected all this yeah. pudding, and which is a true story. A guy went and bought... Uh, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of pudding that equaled a million frequent flyer miles. So that helped. But, yeah. but the main impetus was wanting to write something for Adam. I think I had a, a lot of different chunks and ideas yeah. and notions in search of a story kind of thing. But meeting Adam was really the trigger to get to work. Okay, now let me just get on that because it is the notion, you know he's box office. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was it part that, but also <coughs> something else? It was something about him wasn't it all that? <laughs> yeah. I've been, or was it, what, go ahead. No, I've been trying to sell out for a while. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. if you want to sell out, sell out big time. Go don't, right don't, now. Don't go half the way. You know. Get some of that Sandler no, money. Some of that Sandler money. <laughs> Ride that Sandler wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that I always, I always, I think that I think. See, they're trying to hitch themselves to you, That's all of them. You know? I got know it's Joe yeah. Roth out there and you, yeah. all you yeah. guys. Are just, I tell you, Jonathan Demme, too. Is, Demme, too? Oh my okay. God! We have a competition for Adam Sandler. Let me take credit, you got seven movies coming out. How many? I, I don't. I have no idea. I have, okay. a, I, we, we, I have a production company too, so uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm here to work, Charlie. Well, exactly. Me too. That's the way I say. They say, "Why do you do a nightly show?" I'm here to work. Exactly. You know? I'm not going to be happy until I get a pig bell. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you want one? I want one of those things. I, it's made me a different man. <laughs> right? <laughs> you <on>. know. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> It'll give you more energy. That's It'll I make you better some. looking. I hope. It, more energy, more color in your face. I just, you know, I got happier, in, funnier. This vocabulary. That's what I'm looking to do. <laughs> and well, I've got the doctor for you if you decide to do this Thank in about you. 50 years. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Does he have a jacket also? Exactly. What are you talking about? Yeah. You need a jacket for the show? I've no, watched no. the show. I've seen guys yeah, not wearing absolutely. jackets. Absolutely. They've done almost everything here. So you get a call from him or yes. you're somebody. Yes. Now, do you want to work with him? Well, here's what happened. 
Paul called uh, and asked to come and hang out. We were shooting Little Nicky at the time, another right. movie, and, try, uh, and uh, Paul comes over, hangs out uh, with me for about, we hung out for like five hours, say, mm -hmm. yeah. and he just, just talked about some of the stuff I've done in the past, and he's a Saturday Night Live fan, so we yeah. talked about that stuff. And I just thought he was a great guy. And I did also, I loved uh, Boogie Nights. And then a week later, uh, Magnolia came out and yeah. I saw that movie. And I was like, well, this guy, this guy knows what he's doing. He's, he's pretty damn good, isn't he? <laughs> and he, and uh, he, uh, he said he wanted to work uh, together and do a movie together. Yeah. And, uh, and I was just excited. And he yeah. went to work. I mean, it, for you, knowing that you can make movies and lots of movies, to have the possibility of, of sort of stretching and working in a different right. direction with a guy who obviously is a craft, you know, is a craftsman. Right, right. Yeah. It was a, it was exciting for, for that reason, for getting to do something different, yeah. getting to be with a guy that I, you know, it's nice to make new friends too in life, yeah. and it was nice to meet this guy and like him. And also, you know, when you shoot a movie, you know you're going to be together a long time. And I was yeah. excited to, to try to accomplish something that I haven't uh, really done before. Yeah. But this, go ahead. Well, no, liking someone as an actor is one <coughs> thing, but get, liking them as a person, you got to you got to yeah. know. All right, I, I, you're going to be fun to be with for a couple of years because it's going to be yeah. a couple of years at the end of the day, and you're going to want to you want to know them. And, and, and you want to know that they're going to have a similar work ethic. And Adam creates all his, his own movies. Yeah. So you, it was just kind of like verifying what I thought about him to be the truth. It was yeah. sort of like, good, all right, I, I can see that you're a good guy. Are you really? <laughs> yeah, all right, you know? right. And, and, and only by hanging out can you figure out some of those stuff. Yeah. Here's what he had said about himself. He yeah. once said, I don't know if I'm the type of guy who wants to run the world like Spielberg. <laughs> Oh, or retreat to a mansion in London like Kubrick. I just haven't figured it out yet. Well, that's a bit arrogant. That was, it was, but it was a long time ago. So <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You remember that? Or just figure out how to be myself. Yeah, exactly. Might be a smart idea. Before we see the first clip, and we've seen the trailer, tell me what this movie is about and why. It's about getting in tune. It's a love story between Adam and Emily. Right. Uh, about a guy with seven sisters. Right. Uh, with four blonde crazy brothers coming after him, and it's just about getting in tune and finding your music, I think. That's what it is? What would you add to that? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, love, uh, uh, loneliness, uh, being, uh, becoming happy with yourself and uh, comfortable with yourself and, and trying to lose some insecurities and growing up. Getting out of your house. Getting out of your house. Roll tape. The first scene we'll see is in which you and, and Emily, uh, she plays Lena, meet for the very first time outside Barry's office. Here's that clip. Take a look. So who is Barry Egan? Ah, uh, wow, that's a uh, Barry Egan. Uh, you know, Paul sometimes says uh, it's a lot of. I'm I'm a lot like Barry Egan. Yeah. I I think uh, I've seen my myself behave like Barry. I've seen my brother be like yeah. Barry. I've seen my friend uh, Judd act like Barry sometimes. I've seen that. I, I I stole from a lot of people in my life, yeah. and I, and I just basically was trying to be this guy that uh, he created. That he created. Yeah. Yeah. Were you instantly ready to do this? I mean, after you met him and liked him. Yeah, I was instantly in. I was instantly all right. I want to. I want to. I didn't know what the movie was going to be. I remember when Paul uh, gave me the script and I read it and, and just I'm like, oh, this guy is me. Okay, this guy. Am I going to be able to do this? I was. I was. I was nervous, yeah. but I was in. I, there was no way I was going to say, I'm not doing this. Yeah, you want the experience is worth it. It was. You, did you want to change after Magnolia? I mean, did you say basically, look, I just did some very heavy film with a lot of heavy talent. You know, let me go in a different direction with someone who has a different kind of temperament. Completely. I was, all, and I think I was also in a good mood. You know, you sort of follow. Right. You always want to get away from where you were last. Your just instinct is always like, I want to go left. You know, I can't stand any more cancer. I can't stand any more sadness. I've got to. And it was funny because at the time that I was finishing up the editing, like the chicken noodle soup to that t right. was Adam's movies and, 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 and just kind of really being consumed like, <laughs> yeah. I want a piece of that and I want to learn how to do that because yeah. 
Yeah, you don't want to repeat yourself. You always want to keep moving forward. Sure. And I think I just I was in a, in a good mood, yeah. feeling happy. What did you discover about him that you didn't know um, as an actor? Um, <clears throat> it was, I think I got, I think I, I, I think I got even luckier than I thought I might get. It was like striking gold, just his, yeah. most of all his, um, the work ethic, like the ability to work really hard for a really long period of time, really yeah. intensely, and still have an amazing, <laughs> amazing sense of humor and humanity and humanity yeah. oh, did you, you did you know i mean what what is this work i think about i mean is it just simply that this is what you enjoy doing uh mm. and you're on a wave and let's ride it i i gotta tell you i've been kind of having since i'm 17 i wanted to be a comedian i wanted to be good at what i did and i wasn't that great at it for a long time i don't ever think i became a master but i get i'm still trying to grow but uh it's consumed my head it's it's what i woke up thinking of as i want to be good i want to write jokes i want to i want to get become comfortable as an actor uh and i think that's what drives me is that i'm, I'm kind of uh, obsessed with it yeah. um i i i just I, you know i was doing paul's movie i've seen paul's other movies i thought they were incredible and I knew he wrote an incredible script, so I said, I, bet, I, I better step it up in my head, and I, I didn't want to fail. And you're continuing to grow in your sense. I mean, you feel you're growing, expanding, and, I, I, and you're just halfway there, wherever there is. I don't know where I'm going. I know I'm 36 years old, and I have <clears throat> different thoughts than I had when I was uh, 26. But, uh, and I don't know what I'm going to think about when I'm 46. So I, but I, I know I want to continue trying to travel with uh, in my career with what I'm thinking about and that's the job that's the job is figuring out where you're at yeah. at that moment and yeah. you do that then and then by the time it's over with you usually you want to go the other way yeah, and it's <coughs> trusting your instincts mm -hmm. you know <coughs> trusting your instincts and but you've also got to be I mean you got to I would assume to have the phenomenal box office success he's had you know, there's something behind that. There's an uh, there. I mean, there is trusting your instincts, but you you are delivering something to an audience. Yeah. You want. There's some sense of insight, intelligence. Yeah. I magic. I, I would say that Adam. I've I've walked down the street with movie stars, and I've never seen anything like it when Adam walks down the street. <laughs> what it's, happens? It's the they the res <laughs> his he's there. He's present. Exactly. He's he's not somewhere else. And. And they, people just respond to that, and that's what I respond to. How do you, yeah. how many films do you have that haven't been released right now? Oh, I, I, I have Paul's film. Right. I have uh, an animated movie coming out, and uh, it's a uh, holiday movie coming out uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shot a movie with the great Jack Nicholson. That's, yeah, which one was that? Uh, that's called Anger Management. Yeah. He's unbelievable in it. Yeah. And uh, that'll come out next year. I don't know. I'm I'm working a lot, but that's that's now I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Don't, wait, what do you wait, mean? I, I I'm not. I don't have anything. Uh, you have nothing to do now. You can take some time off. No, no, not? no, no. I I, I don't want to. God forbid. Right. No. I don't want to really have to think think yeah. too much about myself. I need to jump into the work yeah. and uh, and lose yourself in the keep work. Keep hiding. I yeah. keep hiding. I don't want to. I don't want any. I don't want to get to know me. You don't. <laughs> it's pathetic. <laughs> now, what about Barry Egan? Is he pathetic? Uh, I think uh, he's pretty uh, what? savvy. So what? Pretty. An what actor's never going to say his character's pathetic. No, no it's not. He, no. He's, he, no. I, he get, he's pathetic at times. Yeah. I feel bad. He's, What's the phone sex thing about? I think that's lo loneliness. loneliness. Wanting to talk. He's. I don't think he's that. Uh, I mean, Different every, from a every, lot of other men. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, man, th this guy. He's. Not, I don't think it's a, a sexual call as much yeah. as he wants to actually Reach talk out. to somebody. And, yeah. uh, and you know, maybe at the end of uh, the scene, he is a he is a man. He gets excited about some of the things the, the lady's talking about. Yeah. Thank God we don't see that. <laughs> I was going to say, we don't have that clip, no, folks. No, you don't want to see that ever in real life either. All right, one more clip here before we move on to some other things. Uh, this is where Lena, played by Emily Watson, comes to visit Barry at his office. Take a look. Do you have brothers or sisters? No. I'm the exact opposite. That must be nice. That must be really, really, really... No, it's terrible. What's the pudding for? That's something else. We get pancakes? Yes, we are. Are you going out? 
Uh, you won some awards for this. But you sc after the first two weeks of filming, you just scrapped it. Yeah. Well, well, I think we were just trying to find our footing and trying to figure out what the hell we were doing. And we had, I think I tried to figure out a plan on making this movie. Normally you go and <coughs> you've, got a, you've got a schedule. You're going right. to make that schedule and you're going to do that. Right. But after having done it a few times, I sort of figured out how to spend the money properly. And not that I'd ever wasted before, but essentially you can shoot for a lot longer than you might normally think. It's just a sort of about proper money management. So it enabled us to really take our time. And the first couple of weeks, I think, well, there's some stuff that remained, but essentially yeah. we were just trying to find our footing. Yeah. And we had... Or somebody might say, get your rhythm. Exactly. Uh, yeah. and, I, and once it happened, you sort of look back, you go, okay, now, now we're getting to work. So you sort of throw yeah. some things out the window, but still stuff remained, so it wasn't completely a wash. But, right. um, but it was the luxury that came right. from just learning more about how to budget yeah. the movie and make it last. Yeah. Do you think of yourself as a, as a comedian who acts, or do you simply think that you have gone from being a comedian now, settled into that you are an actor? Boy, I don't know. I, ne I don't think about what I, what, you what, are. what I am too much. I, 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 do, I was obsessed with comedy, and I still am. And, um, but I also, you know, I went to college, I studied acting. It was in, on my mind too to, to, to just be an actor, so I'm not exactly sure what the hell I yeah. am. What's the best comedic experience you've ever had? I mean, is it Saturday oh, Night Live? I mean, where, the, who, the, who taught you the essential sort of skills? Of oh, well, uh, these two guys at Saturday Night Live, Robert Smigel and Jim Downey, yeah. were my, uh, uh, I became very close with them, and they, they, they I, I think, uh, the writers that I laugh the most at, yeah. uh, the stuff, and, and I love their taste. And I'm not saying they love my taste, but I'm <laughs> saying that uh, if yeah. they laughed at something I did at, at when Wednesdays to read through, we would read a skit, and if I looked up and saw Downey laugh, and I knew that uh, yeah. life was good right there. Are you born with timing, or do you learn <clears throat> I think you learn uh, uh, confidence. So that's, yeah. what, that's what yeah, happened exactly. with me. I, I was, my timing was, I don't know, yeah, I can tell when I'm not funny. It's usually when I'm rushing and when yeah. I'm kind of scared, and show, show the audience exactly. sees I'm scared. Mm -hmm. If I'm feeling comfortable, it's usually all right. It's, it's, it's about everything, isn't it? I mean, it's true about sports it's true about a right. tennis stroke or a mm -hmm. golf right. stroke yeah. it's true about this it's true if you if the confidence gives you an ease that definitely yeah that, that makes you do it allows you to do it better if you see a, a pitcher looking a little nervous to face a batter he's usually you usually can yeah. tell he's, he's not going to pitch too well exactly right i mean and, and pitchers who intimidate as if they right. uh, you know mm -hmm. i've got your number and here it exactly, comes exactly yeah <laughs> you know? clement scares you yeah clement scares you <laughs> and for a lot of reasons <laughs> yeah, yeah, scares yeah. You. Yeah. Yeah. emily watson yeah she's Phenomenal. Why'd you, why'd you cast her? She's, uh, I've been a fan since Breaking the Waves. Yeah, oh and, man. Right? And you just figure, you just see somebody give a performance like that, it's the same thing as with Adam. You think, they've got, they got balls. They, I want to be around them. I want to jump yeah. off a cliff with them. You know, someone that daring. And, um, and I think that I had in my mind, if you're mm. making a romantic comedy where two people fall in love, you want, they have to be a handsome couple. Right. You know, it's like, Prerequisite, and I thought that the two of them together made a handsome couple. That's a good. Handsome couple. Well, you know, as good as I could get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Emily kind of, it's like 80 20. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> now, it, it, is your audience, you would know more about this, and perhaps, perhaps you don't even think in terms of sort of this kind of analysis. Is your audience predominantly young, teenage guys? Well, I is think the, it, I've I've heard that yeah. I've heard that I mean I, I I think that's what's written a lot about yeah I know me. that's why I'm giving you a chance to say and, it, and it's it's I happen to know a lot of babes watch me I oh I don't know about that <laughs> I know I don't know uh, I I just know I have different different. Uh, people who talk yeah, to me about my movies. Well, probably I, many people watch his movies as we believe, then all of them are there. The entire world. With exactly. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's different age groups, yeah, but right. it doesn't matter. I like. I like. I, I have seen a lot of stuff where they say I, yeah, Adam Sandler's right. just young boys, but I talked to some uh, my mother's friends. Think I'm all right. Today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, they, have, yeah. they have a bit of bias there. Well, don't well they? even <laughs> the ones who don't like her think I'm all right, <laughs> <laughs> which is a big, big uh, yeah. percentage. Yeah. And what do you think of all these comparisons you see between you and Jim Carrey? 
Oh, well, I, I think it's natural for that to happen. I know Carrie since I'm a young guy, since I'm, yeah. I know him since I'm like 22, and I, I love him, and uh, we're both comedians, and... He's the he, best physical comedian there is. Yeah, yeah, he, can, he is, it's funny, when you go to, a, when I go to a Carrie movie and I watch him, I go, oh, wow, I, 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 went, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do what he just did. So yeah. I know he does stuff that... Uh, I don't try to do, and uh, I and I think I do my own thing. Yeah. But wait, I do love. Um, let me take a look at another. This is part of the scene in the trailer. This is where you take Lance, who's played by uh, Louis Guzman, yes. uh, to the grocery <laughs> store to buy some more pudding. Here it is. You can go to places in the world with pudding. That is funny. Yeah. You know some it. good dancing, yeah, huh? right on. Yeah. <laughs> no lessons required for that either. No, no, no. It was I just, just let a natural flow. rhythm. Yeah, well, I'm just a, I'm a natural at a lot of things. <laughs> That's one of them. <laughs> you have tell me, do you have any um, like dreams, obsessions, anything that you're desperate to do? Uh, you know what I want to do? I want to actually become uh, in life a little more centered and normal, mm -hmm. at home. Try to be able to. Uh, uh, just not have to work as much as I do. Are you serious now? Yeah, you're, yes. You're not putting me on. No, I'd like to just be a no normal person and not, uh, you know, I, I love what I'm getting to do. I'm not complaining about anything. I want to continue working hard, but I'd like to be able to, uh, you know, take my uh, girlfriend, fiance right. out there and uh, spend the full meal without in my head going, man, I, I think I have to write something. I, 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 you know, I'm a little nuts. Do you feel a little insecure to you? I don't know if I'm insecure as much as I want to get a lot done. Yeah. In other words, if you got this idea, I better give it. I'm, I'm going to make sure I give it full flight. I, I do. I am. Uh, I was talking to Paul the other night on the phone. When I'm not, if I don't uh, try to accomplish something, I feel like I might be uh, screwing up a little. Bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the reason he's so successful. Maybe it's that, a sickness. Really, it, it is that, a sickness. And, I mean, I'm telling you, that's the reason. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? You mm -hmm. know, I like that. I, mean, that that's, I do like that. I am, of course, but yeah. What are we going to do? We have to talk to someone <laughs> we about <do>. this. <laughs> you got to get a good shrink on the show. Yes, we do. Out. As to why we keep work as hard as we do yeah. and why we can constantly trying to make sure that, yeah. you know. I mean, it's like preparing for a segment. You just, you know, yeah, you I'm can sure. never learn enough about I'm somebody sure. to explore who they are. and what, you don't, Sometimes you don't do it as well as you'd like to, and sometimes you don't get around to all the things. But it's always that idea mm -hmm. that maybe I can do this better. Mm -hmm. you know, maybe, there is, maybe there's a key out there that somehow, will, maybe I'll read something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like the mm -hmm. aforementioned quote mm -hmm. at the beginning, <laughs> that will that will somehow unlock mm -hmm. what it is about this person that makes them interesting. You know, mm -hmm. constantly trying to whether it's an athlete or a scientist or a politician or mm -hmm. whoever you know mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. might be. Um, did you have to rein him in at all? <laughs> did you have to say no? Did you have to direct him at all? Yeah. In what way? Uh, just watching, guy, uh, keeping an eye on how he was feeling, you know. Um, that's really just the job, is just being an audience and, and making sure you don't, they don't stray and yeah. watching. Keeping them yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm focused well, or, or, or not focused, but what? Well, it's just being a collaborator. You're both after the same thing you you both you have yeah. your, your idea yeah. of what good is of what quality is and it can be yeah after 10 or 15 takes of trying to get it right for all many different reasons it can become really easy to just lose lose the yeah, plot right, a little bit right, as right, an right. actor or lose a lot of things urgency or lose a sense of energy lose a all sense that. of it's, and it's, moment it's not does not make you better actors it's just natural it's, it's, or it's, what did you eat have you eaten enough lunch you know, all right, okay, how, where are we in the day? Because it's never going to happen today. We're going to try it tomorrow. Yeah. That's, that's the job, and it's just, you're looking out for someone's well-being there. That's really what you do. Yeah, make, yeah. To be, actors can feel that too, can't they? That somebody's looking out for them. Oh, yeah, that's that right. That a director is, you know, really is looking out for my best interest here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, I, you know, it's also when I, the fact that I, the movies he's made already, and I, I to me, I, I love them so much that that helped the trust of uh, taking risks and saying he's 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 going to do the right thing with with mm -hmm. my performance. He's going to make me 
he, he's gonna he ain't gonna hang me out to dry. Then. Yeah, exactly. He's gonna you know if I'm not there and if I'm doing something that what might not be right. Right. Bring, right. bring it. Um, did you view this as a risk? This role. I, I after we were doing it, and I would hear people say to me. You know, uh, it's like me and Paul, would we, we became very uh, friendly and we were psyched about the movie and we were talking about Barry Egan and Lena a lot, right. the characters. And then uh, out of nowhere you'd hear, oh, you guys are doing a movie again? Yeah. That's weird. Uh, it uh, doesn't make sense. It's not, huh? it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not weird when you're doing your work and it's yeah. weird <laughs> something snaps you back out someone says, what are you, you working with Adam Sandler? Yeah, or right. he, we're working together. I remember you from Magnolia. Yeah, and, right. and, and uh, that snaps you back, but you're in the work and there's nothing odd at all. Yeah. Will you do anything you don't write? I don't, not, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Mm. No. I mean, is, is writing what comes first for you? Mm -hmm. Writing is great because it's the alone time for the most part. It's the, the recharging of your batteries. You get to sort of, you get to be working like, you know, like you guys are talking about working. You get to constantly be working, but you can conduct a bit of a life at the same time and you can go yeah. anywhere in the world and that's sort of a wonderful thing and it's alone time before it becomes a completely social experience yeah, for the next right. two years yeah. when all you're doing is interacting with people it's always nice to sort of come to the end of a movie great I get to go, yeah. go be alone for a while now don't you feel lucky I, I, I am happiest I think when I am working with people that I care about you know, the, I, yeah. I, don't want, I don't mean not a lot of people I care about but the idea of working the joy of working, if you're doing things you enjoy, mm -hmm. and you're with people that you genuinely care about, mm -hmm. and there's a shared passion. Right, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. nothing better. I mean, there's better. nothing better. Nope. There is nothing better. Mm -hmm. You agree? I do agree. I do agree. Yeah. It makes you, you get to share uh, the, I don't know, when uh, people talk about the movie and they walk out of the theater and they like it, uh, and they, I'm just glad uh, I get to share that with Paul. And Emily and uh, Philip Hoffman and Louie and everybody in the movie. It, it is cool to have that connection the rest of your life. Philip Hoffman's great, too. Yeah, he's great in the movie, too. Yeah, he's very nice. Oh, he's man. amazing. Yeah. He's pretty hot stuff. <coughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, he, uh, he's in Red Dragon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you go to movies a lot? Yeah, I'll go see that. Of course. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do. I go to the movies a lot. Yeah. Me and the girl go there, sit down together. I yeah. uh, I enjoy popcorn. I enjoy yeah. the flicks. But you do like them in here. I love Can you them. go out to the theater or not? I do a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But exactly. not in disguise go, or just like no, 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 no. I just sit there. I'd like to see that. Yeah, I would too. Is he putting me on? No. No, no, no. Oh, no. He's oh, not putting you, put you on. I'd like to see him go in disguise because that, well, that is so far from him. Him. Yeah. I go to. Oh, they will let you alone? I mean, you can go. You know, uh, if I go to a movie and uh, and it's very light in there and it's crowded, people will say hello. Yeah. Right. But uh, but uh, once the movie st uh, starts, it's, uh, unless I'm in it, then it's pretty weird. You don't want to you don't want to be uh, yeah. yeah have the whole crowd know you're there. Oh, and I see. So you wouldn't movie. want to be seen watching your own movies. Well, that might affect the the, the yeah, audience right. thinking they have <laughs> right. to laugh harder yeah, right. for my yeah. sake, yeah. or boo harder. Yeah. Um, how, how many times have you seen this film? Well, I saw it with the man himself alone. Uh, you and couple PG times. sat there and watched it. And yes, mm -hmm. yes, holding uh, like this, now, holding was, okay, to, to, So just take me there. So you're watching this. Is it kind of <coughs> clinical? Is it? No. You know, you're just uh, having fun, saying, "Man, weren't we good? Isn't this work? This is great. This is better than I thought it was," or none of the above. Oh, it was <laughs> a lot of things. A lot of things. I remember when you showed me uh, like 20 minutes of it. I showed him cut scenes and at, at, yeah. at the Avid, but what? But the, I thought the the best way, because we'd really we'd worked for so long and so intricately, yeah. that the best thing to do was for just him and I to go and watch it yeah. at my house right. Right. and sit there and and just kind of sort of wonder, wonder, wonder what 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 we'd done and talk about it some more and sort of yeah. a weird thing because it's it's. It's over. It's kind of over for him at that point. He's got to stare at himself for an hour and a half. You kind of want to make sure it's a nice, yeah, comfortable venue. So, yeah, that's okay, true. there you are. How do you, do you? Are you? Are you still alive? Are you breathing? Are you happy? You know. But I think we knew we worked so closely together. It wasn't like there was going to be a ton of surprises. Right. I think Adam. I think um, we knew where we were both working towards. So it was. It was just kind of nice to share it, and and I think we were. We had some pride. Yeah, yeah right. So I think we 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 I think we we did have a really nice night that night. Mm -hmm. and felt 
a lot of pride looking back on two years worth of work that yeah. that yeah. You, you couldn't help but be happy. You feel good about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very proud of it. Very. Uh, I'm just excited for people to see it. You know, it's mm -hmm. like uh, when we watched it alone, and then the, uh, we were in Toronto a couple of weeks ago and watched it with a big crowd, and it was like uh, 11 o'clock at night. And I tell you, when we watched it alone, yeah. I didn't know uh, how people were going to respond when they saw it. I, I know that the movies I've done before, I know the full intention is to make an audience laugh um, and get as many laughs as we can get. All of a sudden, uh, when we were alone, I, I was like, oh, wow, I don't know what, what the response is going to be. And then in Toronto, it was pretty uh, it was pretty interesting that Barry Egan was, his pain was getting a lot of laughs. Mm -hmm. And he got a lot, a lot of... Uh, Barry just, Egan's pain is getting a lot of laughs. He was, yeah, yeah, his journey. Thank you for coming. Thanks for Great to me. see you again. Thank you. Uh, the movie is called Punch Drunk Love. It opens on October 11th in New York and L.A. It opens nationally on October 18th. The star is Adam Sandler. I hope you'll come back. Hey, thank you. I'd love to. Well, that was fun. Uh, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.